Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Ava, Missouri with JC News Now as he serves the uh, local city hall with, uh, well, what's supposed to be uh, lawsuits, but it's probably nothing more but than uh, just a bunch of junk that he came up with anyway. And, uh, well, we have an additional surprise at the end of the video as well. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. My name is Jimmy Haig. Had a visit to the, sh to the, uh, the Ava City Police <laughs> Department the other day. I was uh, trying to file a sunshine request, and Officer uh, Chief Overcast and Lieutenant Butterworth denied me my First and Fourteenth Amendment <laughs> rights. Well, first of all, Jimmy Boy, the First Amendment really just says freedom of the press, and that has been interpreted as meaning that the uh, press has the right to uh, publish their stories without government interference. Uh, it doesn't grant anybody any special rights over anybody else in this country. So you just can't say, I am press, and that means you can do anything you want. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it doesn't exactly work that way. Gotcha, bitch! Okay, let's go ahead and uh, look at the 14th Amendment, Section 1, which is the uh, thing that you're concerned with. All persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the United States wherein they reside. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. Okay, so you were concerned about uh, being deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process then, huh? Okay, uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, were you deprived of your life as a result of this action because of lack of due process? No, because you are most definitely still alive. Gotcha, bitch! Were you denied liberty as a result of your action uh, that day, which basically means your freedom was taken away? Uh, no. You walked away from that situation without being arrested, and even if you had been arrested, you would have been arrested because you were trespassing because they did ask you to leave several times, which, yes, you can be trespassed out of any property without committing a crime. This has happened to you on several occasions. Gotcha, bitch! Now, were you deprived of any of your property during this uh, event? Uh, no. So, yeah, that's not exactly working out for you right there either, dude. Uh, you were definitely treated as equally as anybody would have if they were in the same trespassing situation. So, dude, shut your dang mouth. You weren't being violated. You're just acting like a complete moron who, well, doesn't understand the law to begin with, or even will do any research to try to understand it. I'm an independent journalist and I have a small YouTube channel called JC News Now. On November 25th at 11.33 a.m., I entered the Ava City Police Department and attempted to get two officer complaint forms and while there I decided to do a sunshine request. I was told to turn off my camera. That's a First Amendment right violation. I'm a press. We have this right in America. Yeah dude, I suggest you take a look at the public forums doctrine and realize that some places, well, you just can't do that in without their permission. And other places, they can still ask you to leave. Even if it's a uh, government building, they can still ask you to leave. And they can trespass you if you don't leave. Look up the damn trespassing laws in your state. I've done it several times when it comes to your videos. And, uh, well, they haven't changed yet. I was told that it was against the state law to record my interactions with police or other government entities. This is untrue. 
This is a protected right. Lieutenant Butterworth told me this. Not only is it lawful activity, it's protected under the First Amendment. This is the first law of this great land. That flag right there guarantees us the right to free press. Uh, uh no dude, uh, the First Amendment is not the first law of the Constitution. Article 1, Section 1 of the United States Constitution is the first uh, law of the Constitution, which the Constitution was ratified in 1788, and the First Amendment of the Constitution was ratified in 1791. So you might want to uh, think about actually reading the history of the Constitution. That way you don't make yourself look like a complete and total dumbass. But wait, it's too late for that. You've already made yourself look like a complete and total dumbass. Lieutenant Butterworth lied to me. He then forcefully pushed me out of the police department and barred my re-entry. My taxes pay for that building, just like every one of y'all's. Everybody's in this room pays for taxes, except for the law enforcement standing there. They use our taxes to pay it. Okay, citation needed for that claim, dude. I mean, uh, if you're going to say the police don't pay any taxes whatsoever, uh, please provide a source for that because I would be very interested in knowing if that's true or not. But I really doubt that it is, considering it's coming out of your disgusting, uh, smelly little pie hole. Everyone's taxes pays for that building. As I continued working on my story out in the parking lot, an unknown individual who would not identify himself, and I later found out he was the chief, he aggressively approached me and made, me, made the threat to Lieutenant Butterworth, he's fixing to go on the deck. This man followed to me in my car and asked me, do I look like a cop? Because I kept asking him, what's your name and your badge number? He said, do I look like a cop? He then called me a homophobic slur. He called me... This is unacceptable. This is one of the few points that I will agree with uh, Jimmy Boy on. You never, ever call a man that word. You're liable to get your... Uh, clock cleaned and it is most certainly unprofessional for the officer to do so and uh, in uh, life in general you don't approach a man and accuse him of that you're liable to well yeah uh be put on the ground and made fun of my attire he berated and threatened me and i've received several death threats supporting the chief's behavior i've got them all on my phone i'm afraid to leave my home home alone and was terrified about coming to this meeting for fear of retaliation. I was told if I came to this meeting, I'd never make it back to Branson. From these men. My fear, my fear was allayed when Mayor Norman called me back today, returned my phone call, and he told me that I would have a voice tonight and that I would be heard. And I really appreciate that, sir. That's accountability right there. These men are a liability to the great city of Ava. This is a beautiful city, and they're going to cost y'all a lot of money. As y'all can see, by right now, I'm personally serving you, Mayor, with a letter to of intent to sue. And I'm going to sue the city of Ava under the 1983 laws. It's a federal law. Uh, uh dude, uh, your uh, civil rights weren't exactly violated, uh, so you don't really have a legal leg to stand on with the 1983 uh, laws. So, come on now, dude. You're only making yourself look like a total clown and a buffoon and everything like that. But hey, if you want to act like that, well, by all means, go right ahead. We're all entertained by this show's stupidity. So let's go ahead and carry on, shall we? And this is your 30-day notice to either settle or we're going to face off in a federal court. And I'll win. I've got all the footage on my camera, and everybody's seen the video. I will win. They're going to frown, frown on that man, especially when he wouldn't identify. To me, I could have shot him. And I wouldn't, I would have been in my rights to protect myself. He wouldn't identify. He wasn't wearing a badge. All he had on was a band-aid on his face. This man is a thug. And so is his lieutenant. Now, here's what's going to happen to the city of Ava. 
the taxpayers are going to pay for that man's bill. They're going to pay for this settlement, and I'm going to get it. If I don't get it, I'm going to, they've got 30 days, which will be the 11th of next month, to comply. Let me know whether or not they want to go to a federal court. My attorney sent me here tonight. He said, you serve them, do everything correctly, and let them know how you feel. And that's what I'm doing here tonight. Hopefully, the city of Ava will do something about these dangerous men. Please fire them. Avoid any further liabilities. This is a problem. This is a beautiful place to live. I've got many friends that live here. Some of them told me how it was, and I didn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe the stories I've heard. And the sheriff's office is next. I'm going to them next, and we're going to go over them with a fine tooth comb. We're going to find out everything about them. The city of Ava is going to undergo some scrutiny over the next year. My channel is very small. I only have 19,000 subscribers, but my friends have millions. I've got one friend. He's a very close friend of mine. He's got 3 million subscribers. Have you been getting any phone calls? If you have... I know for a fact they have because I haven't been making some. Well, I haven't called yet, but I know some people's told me that I've that y'all been getting some phone calls. Imagine the phone calls you're getting with 19,000 subscribers versus 3 million. I really appreciate the council's time, and I hope you take into consideration what I said. And here's your copy, Miss Nels, Miss Welsh, and I appreciate every bit of your help. Just who do you know that has 3 million subscribers? I'd like to know this because, well. Accountability for all has nowhere near that. Not even Long Island Audit has that many. I mean, he hasn't even gotten to a million yet. So, uh, yeah, who do you know that has that many subscribers? Because, yeah, if they had that many, I doubt they would even bother with some pissant like you. Now, here comes the fun part. Uh, yeah, uh, here's the surprise that, uh, well, not really much of a surprise anymore. I'm sure there's a lot of people that know about this. Uh, well, JC News now has an arrest warrant out for him, and I'm sure he's on the run right as we speak. I mean, but they'll find him eventually. I mean, he's he, he doesn't have that many places where he can hide because I'm sure he doesn't have that many friends with the attitude that he has. It, but uh, as far as this goes right here, it's a Class E misdemeanor, which can be punishable by upwards of four years in prison. Congratulations, Jimmy boy. You did it. You managed to piss off enough people where you would go back to prison uh, where you wanted to be at anyway, because I know people like you. You miss your time in prison. You want to go back because it's so much simpler. You don't have to deal with the uh, daily issues of the outside world. You get less frustrated. You know how to deal with people in prison. It's generally just easier because you don't have to make a lot of decisions like you do on the outside. And that's the way I see it because, you know what, like I said, I've seen a lot of people like you. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?